Well, let's bring in our first guest, Adam Dawes from Shaw and Partners. Adam, thanks for your time. Let's start Thank with you. Fortescue Medals with Twiggy Forrest. He's going to be back running the Iron Ore Major in August. This seems like a pretty big change up at the Iron Ore Company. Well, I guess uh, Forrest is Fortescue and Fortescue is Forrest. I guess there's no pretending any other otherwise, really, isn't it there? I mean, the cynic might say that there's uh, not a big change at Fortescue given that Andrew Forrest had effectively been the chairman all along. Uh, but he, he, he went quiet to complete his PhD in, in marine biology. So, look, it's probably unfair that, you know, to Nev Power and to Elizabeth Gaines, who delivered very impressive results during these stints, and as the second and third chief executives of Australia's sort of largest iron ore exporter, I think they did pretty well. But I think the market will really like the idea of uh, Andrew Forrest coming back into the fold to run or to put his stamp back on a company that he founded in 2003. Yeah, obviously, he's their biggest shareholder. How difficult do you think it's going to be for him to not only be that executive chairman, but also to be running the huge iron ore business that is Fortescue? Yeah, look, it is huge. And certainly they are trying to diversify, as you said, in the in the package before. They are looking to sort of get uh, more into hydrogen and, and other kinds of renewable energies. But look, yeah, it is the mainstay and it is the powerhouse that is Fortescue. I think he'll do OK. You know, he's done this before. He's run this business. He knows what it's like. He can actually uh, go ahead. And, and I think he's got the support of the management team as well as the shareholders. So I, I think I think it'll be a natural fit, and I think the share I think the stock price should definitely firm up on the back of his leadership. Yeah, the share price did lift today, and it's pretty clear that Fortescue Future Industries is hiring some big names as well. With the former head of General Electric Europe, Mark Hutchinson, um, going to be leading that company by the end of this year too. Yeah, definitely. It's a it's an interesting one to watch, isn't it? Yeah, look, also today, Borrell, Borrell released that profit downgrade with bad weather impacting their building sites. Do you expect Borrell's going to, going to bounce back pretty quickly from this? I don't know. Two downgrades in as many months doesn't bode well for the market and it doesn't bode well for the stock. I'm a little bit concerned about this one. Obviously, uh, you've, you've got a lot of issues uh, with, with Borrell. Uh, timber costs, higher input costs. Uh, they did talk about a 15 million hit from inflation and higher energy prices as well. That's certainly something that I'm just a little bit more concerned about as well. So, look, I, I think something like this is is, a, is, a, is tough. I think Borrell needs to really address a lot of these issues. Uh, the confidence in the stock is going to be hit uh, because then, you know, potentially you might need to see a management change on this one as well. So I'd be a little bit cautious on Borrell. I think overall uh, the building material makers should be doing well in this kind of environment, um, but it's, it's just not and it's, and it's struggling at the moment. So I'd be very careful. I'd probably wait until the dust settles on Borrell before you start to look, that, look at that one again. The car dealer business, AP Eagers, also put out a bit of a downgrade today, I think expecting profits potentially down about 15%. It seems like supply chain issues are starting to hurt them. Yeah, they, they did say that semiconductor chip shortage issues uh, had persisted through 2021, and that's been compounded by the Ukraine conflict as well as China's ongoing uh, COVID lockdowns. They did say that their uh, new vehicles remain strong or, or, or sales for new vehicles remain strong. New car orders are increasing by about 25% since December 2021, so they started this year. But basically, they did say that they're going to have to pull back a little bit on uh, their overall profit, uh, and that's uh, looking for a fall of around sort of 12 to 15 per cent. They did note that, however, uh, while vehicle supply does remain unclear uh, through, uh, they are looking for a second half strong for 2022. But also, Ed, remember this one, that, that uh, investors with uh, interest rates moving higher, uh, a new car is, a, is, is somewhat like a wealth effect. And basically, material, we'll see a negative material impact on new cars if interest rates start going higher and housing prices start going lower. That'll bite into the individual consumer's uh, back pocket and potentially that'll slow down on new car sales as well. So that's a, a double whammy for AP Eagers at the moment with uh, supply chain issues, but also that wealth effect starting to take bite uh, into everybody's back pocket. Another company today that was a top performer was Blue Scope Steel. They seem to be going from strength to strength thanks to some pretty strong prices for their steel products. Yeah, well, is that, it was actually a lot higher throughout the day, but then uh, got paired back uh, all the way. So we were sort of scratching our heads a little bit on the desk going, you had profit guidance, you gave good guidance, you gave good upgrades, 
And then really, yeah, the, the stock did end higher, but it was a lot higher and, and, and would certainly pull back. But they said their underlying earnings are, are going to be quite good. They're looking for $1.3 billion to $1.4 billion, uh, and that was higher than projected from $1.2 to $1.3. So it was, it was a really great result. We were really comfortable with it. They said they uh, benefited from better than expected realised steel prices and spreads, the, the ro hot royal coal uh, spreads that they do. And, and basically they're saying that the things are looking good on, on all fronts. So I, like, I, I really like this business. I think it's a great business. It doesn't seem to get out of that 18 to sort of $20 range. It's been really, really tough for them. But uh, Adam, one, I'm sorry, a... I've got to cut you off. We've run out of time, but thanks so much for coming on the show today.